Let's look at another example of the linear equation. And this is the initial value problem. First, write it as the standard form. So dy by dx plus one over x plus one times y equals one over x times x plus one, where the px is one over x plus one and the fx is one over x times x plus one. Next, we find the integrating factor. Integrating factor mu is e to the integral px dx, or e to the integral one over x plus one dx. Integral of one over x plus one is natural log absolute value of x plus one, or we get x plus one. The absolute value can be omitted since the initial condition at E, which is positive x value. Next, substitute in the formula to get the general solution. So y equals one over mu, multiplied by integral mu times f of x dx plus c. The one over mu or one over x plus one multiplied by integral mu, which is the quantity x plus one. The f of x is one over x times x plus one dx plus c x plus one, x plus one reduce. So the integrand becomes just one over x with respect to x plus c. The integral one over x gives us natural log absolute value of x. We can omit the absolute value also since the initial condition occurs at x equals e or in the positive x value. So plus c, or y equals one over x plus one times natural log x plus c. With the initial condition, y at e equals one. We're gonna find c, y equals one, x equals e. Natural log of e is one. So we get, we multiply both sides by e plus one. So e plus one equals one plus c, or c equals e. That means the particular solution. Y equals one over x plus one times natural log x plus e, or y equals natural log x over x plus one plus e over x plus one. Next, we consider the transient term. There are two terms for the limit of natural log x over x plus one as x approaches infinity will be zero. You can use the L'Hopital as the derivative of the numerator, we get one over x, derivative of the denominator, we get one, or we find the limit of one over x which approaches zero. So this term is the transient term. Next, the limit of e over x plus one as x approaches infinity will give you zero as well. So the transient term will be both terms, natural log x over x plus one and the term e over x plus one. 
Therefore, eventually, or in the long term, the sultan Y will approach zero. 